But we're mainly curious from your, your background, your perspective, what brought you to kind of creating the content you're creating? As you said, it's been an outlet. You've been seeing things and you just really, in some ways, what I understood is you just can't stay quiet anymore. What, what kind of led, what was your yeah. journey from like what you, where you were at, say, what was Shannon looking like in 2017 to now Shannon in 2024? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of flipped. Um, I went through kind of a bit of a, a metamorphosis, I suppose. Wow, that's um, a big word. Prior to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> prior to 2020, um, I was working in long-term care. I was definitely more left-leaning. Uh, I voted liberal. Um, I was a hardcore evangelical vegan. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Big vegan. Um, and I was a proud, childless cat mom. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm totally not that anymore. <laughs> I, I kind of, I feel um, you on that was, one too, because it's just, you know, sometimes that happens and you're like, okay, what was the breaking point? Like what, you know, what right. personally was it for A you? lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff happened. Uh, I feel like 2020 was a really significant year for a lot of people. Um, there was the American presidential election. And I feel like as Canadians, we're, we're quite immersed in that. Um, you know, there was the fiery, but mostly peaceful protests. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then there was the pandemic and the extreme measures that, that went along with that. Um, and I kind of became aware of what I call the machine, which is uh, government, mainstream media, and social media kind of um, actively trying to shape my perspective on things. Um, and, you know, they're feeding me narratives and things that were verifiably false. And um, they had their fact checkers, which I considered to be like the ministry of truth. Mm. Um, and th there was a whole bunch of silencing of dissent online, uh, political censorship. Uh, and it all felt very 1984 to me. <laughs> it's like, I am not down with this. And it was the left that was in favor of it. And I'm like, no, you guys aren't supposed to be like this. Um, so, <laughs> you know, and, and then we had the, um, then there was the convoy. Um, and it was just weird seeing that um, the media portraying it one way and then me seeing it in a totally different way with my own eyes. So, you know, we got to deny what we are seeing and hearing. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, so because of all that happened, I basically became less friendly towards left wing government. I was like, this is not, this is not cool. I don't like this. Um, it's just way too authoritarian for me. Um, and, but I mean, in hindsight, should we have, trusted somebody who openly stated that he admires China's basic dictatorship. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that should have been a big red flag right there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so that kind of, you know, that all of that changed me. Mm. And um, I also, I married a conservative man. <laughs> oh, gee. He wasn't trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he kind of rubbed off on me a little there. Uh, we had a baby. I became a stay-at-home mom. Uh, Dang. And between all between all of those things, it kind of flipped. I kind of had a, a flip happen, and it, that kind of shaped me, uh, who I am today, I suppose. But I, I totally get that because I think that for me, because I, I really I feel for your story because I feel like I was the same way, you know. I was uh, very pro Earth, like very, um, very green. Um, I was all about the electric cars, and so that was my thing. Mm -hmm. I did a master's in, in sustainability and, and uh, resource and environmental management. So, like, my whole thing was like, I want to save the Earth, right? And um, yeah, yeah. And it was funny because it was like not until I was watching, like you said, watching everything going down with uh, the, like the twenty twenty um, pandemic, or I guess, uh, yeah. 2019, 2020. And I was like, I'm not liking this. This, this doesn't feel right. I feel like I'm being gaslit a little bit here. And then, yeah, totally. and then when we had our daughter, I was like, 
what kind of a world am I, am I actively shaping? And that was kind of what pushed me to kind of reach out to these guys when they were first uh, doing the Elevate podcast because they had brought up something about the carbon tax. I was like, I know about this. <laughs> this is, and then that blew up. And so that was what kind of pushed me in. But I really do, when you said about like, you became a mom and you, and you, when you have another life that you have to support and you have to think about, you really don't have time to mess yeah. around. You have to be like, okay, what kind of future am I actively shaping? 